You're listening to Soap Dirt, the latest in television entertainment news. Hey, this video has your weekly spoilers for Bold and the Beautiful for July 15th through 19th. Hollis overdosed and the cops grab Sheila for questioning. We are going to talk about all this. And of course, it's me, Belinda from Soap Dirt. Let's dive right in with the action coming on Monday, July 15th, 2024, which is season 37, episode 206 of B&B. So... Hollis is taken away on Monday and looks like they're going to rush right through the autopsy because the autopsy report is in on Monday and the results completely stun Lee Finnegan and her son, Dr. Finn, both doctors at the hospital where he's taken to. We're going to talk about this a little more when I tell you what's in the promo, which I'm going to tell you about after I go through the day to daily spoilers. We have Jameson Belushi in her camp cameo as lab tech April at the hospital and she is going to be doing the testing and giving them the results that are going to stun a lot of people in LA Tuesday July 16th 2024 season 37 episode 207 Deacon Sharp is very worried one employee death is an unforeseeable tragedy two employee deaths is not a coincidence. He is very worried, rightfully so, especially considering who's sharing his pillow. Am I right? We all know she's a killer. And Lee and Finn share some info with Steffi Forster. It looks like they are going to tell her exactly what went down with Hollis, how he died, all that good stuff. I don't, I guess it's not a HIPAA violation since he's dead. And what they share with Steffi leads to a stunning accusation. And I bet Steffi and Lee both draw the exact same conclusion about who killed him and why. Wednesday, July 17th, 2024, episode 208 of season 37, a clue goes missing, some sort of evidence. And if you remember, there were what looked like letters in Tom Starr's backpack. That's what Harris saw that had him so freaked out. He was trying to tell Sheila and she dismissed him. Nobody would listen to him. And then he turned up dead. And I just wonder if those were letters between Poppy and Tom, if those letters maybe had a picture of little Luna in it and Luna's school pictures. I mean, it could be letters between Tom and somebody else. Obviously, those are incriminating. And the killer was clearly somebody that Hollis recognized and wasn't immediately scared of. I don't think it's Sheila, my two cents. But Deputy Chief Baker takes Sheila Carter in for questioning after this evidence, this clue goes missing. Thursday, July 18th, 2024 season 37 episode 209 Brooke is worried that Hope's fixation on Finn is going to mess up Steffi's marriage now did you notice this was so bizarre so we got Thomas Forrester we got Douglas Forrester we got Paris Buckingham we got the big engagement news we got them planning to get married at the Forrester mansion and then they leave town. They leave town again. What the heck is that about? And I, I, I'm guessing it's because they're this double whodunit murder mystery is going to be on the front burner for sweeps. I, I honestly expect them to come back by the end of sweeps for their wedding. We will see. I'm you know, there's not enough room on a half an hour show for a bunch of stories to be on the front burner. And this week it is the double murder mystery and the Hope Finn Steffi stuff. So Brooke is obviously worried about Hope and rightly so. She seems to have transferred all her feelings for Thomas, all her hurt feelings from the breakup over on to Finn. And we're going to talk more about Hope and what she's up to when we dig into what's happening in the promo. But Brooke is very right to be worried about her daughter. Meanwhile, Steffi and Finn confirm their love and devotion to each other. I'm betting this is going to be a scene a lot like we got this past week where they're just 
talking about how much they love each other. Finn is telling her she will always come first, this and that. Meanwhile, in Hope's brain, Steffi doesn't appreciate Finn. Finn is too good for her. Finn deserves someone better, someone who really understands him. You know, all those things that cheaters say when they're trying to justify cheating. They don't understand me, you know. Friday, July 19th, 2024 is episode 210 of the current season. Steffi sets some ground rules for Hope about hope for the future and also about Finn. Well, that's pretty interesting. And we're going to talk about that when we talk about the promo stuff in just a second. Meanwhile, Finn warns Liam Spencer on Friday to mind his business where his wife Steffi is concerned. Liam, when's the last time we saw Liam? And you, it's, it's interesting that he is popping back up at a time where there is another threat to their marriage. So both Hope and Liam are kind of lurking in the periphery and are threats to their marriage. So let's talk about what's in the promo because there was some really, really good stuff there that isn't reflected necessarily in the these weekly spoilers. So we have a scene of Hollis on the slab at the morgue. He was so cute, wasn't he? I hate that we we lose him. Um, I'm interested to see, obviously, who killed him. I have some very strong ideas. Sheila is too obvious of a culprit. And if you notice, they're dropping little Easter eggs all over the place. Like when Lee Finnegan was telling Finn to stay away from Poppy, stay away from Luna. And then Jack is there and he's like, oh, you should spend time with Poppy and Luna. They're great. Poppy's family. And then he said, I would do anything for her. Anything up to and including murder. Maybe it depends. Again, I don't think Bill is Luna's dad. I think there is a question mark around the paternity. And I don't see why Lee or Jack would have killed Hollis, killed Tom, if Bill was indeed really the dad. And Sheila had no motive to kill Tom. And she wouldn't even look at what Hollis had found. I would think that for her to want to kill Hollis, she would have seen the evidence and seen there was something in there to incriminate her. But why would there be? What would Tom have in his backpack that had anything to do with Sheila and specifically that packet of letters that seemed to be of so much interest? That should have nothing to do with Sheila. Those look like old letters, which means he was talking to somebody, somebody, likely Poppy, maybe somebody else. Meanwhile, Lee says she knows exactly who killed Hollis. And this is after the autopsy results. And what they tell Steffi at the hospital, this is the shocking news. They tell her that Hollis died of an overdose of the same drug as Tom Starr. And what are the odds? I We have no indication that Hollis was a drug user. The police are probably going to think about that because, you know, it's a trendy place. They're in LA. There's drugs all over the place. So maybe Tom and Hollis were doing drugs together. I'm sure that's an alley that the police are going to go down. But in the end, it looks like they are going to decide that Sheila might be culpable. Meanwhile, Deacon tells Sheila he wants answers. He wants to know what the hell happened to his friends. And I just, I I hope Deacon doesn't turn on her and suspect her because, again, she is just too obvious of a culprit in the, you know, when they're talking about that he died, you know, it's like, okay, she had this look on her face that could be interpreted a lot of ways. I just don't believe it. Anyway, the big news from the promo, Hope tells Finn she's attracted to him, and he says, you can't talk like that way. And she says, can't a girl dream? And she's looking all mushy at him. Maybe, maybe this is another one of her little hallucination fantasies. However, because Steffi, the Friday spoiler about Steffi setting some ground rules for Hope about work and also about Finn, I wonder if Hope makes a play for Finn and Finn tells Steffi and that's part of them confirming their love and devotion to each other. I kind of hope Hope gets busted for coming on to him because that is just not cool. Let me know what you think and come back soon. Thank you for being a loyal listener. Follow us wherever you get your podcast. 
because you don't want to miss the next episode. Soap Dirt is on all the major podcast platforms, including Apple Podcast, Spotify, iHeartRadio, and more. 